January seems like a strange time to be counting waterfowl in North Dakota. Most of the birds are well on their way to wintering grounds much further south. But there is a method to what seems like madness. The waterfowl count is done simultaneously in all 50 states the same week of the year, every year, to avoid duplication, counting birds in Kansas that were in North Dakota a week ago. Everybody is out counting at the same time, so you're not double counting birds. The count is done as a way to determine if birds are finding different areas to spend the winter. It's primarily to determine the, the wintering distributions of waterfowl. It would be impossible to count the birds by conventional means, so they get a bird's eye view of the river. It makes it easier to spot groups of birds, but when you're whizzing by at 100 miles an hour, you learn to predict the number of birds in a group by its size. When we run through um, the birds, you, you encounter groups that vary typically from, you know, a few to several thousand, and you're going by an airplane, so it is an estimation. The winter has been fairly mild so far, and Szymanski says this year's count could go as high as 200,000 geese. Whereas in a really cold year, even as recent as a couple of years ago, we had less than 10,000 geese wintering in North Dakota. A strong argument that climate is attracting the birds to winter further north. It's hard to say if it's completely climate related. Uh, certainly there's been some shifts in climate that have help them stay further north, but uh, it, it is a trend that we've been following over time. It takes open water and a food source to keep birds from heading to warmer climates, and it appears these geese feeding in the fields adjacent to the Missouri River have no intention of leaving anytime soon. This Tom Jensen, Outdoors.